you might have wondered where the hell did Lee go? Well, Lee is very busy. I'm busy with um, following my deepest longings, my true purpose, the things that I really feel that are coming from the depth of my 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 groin, my my heart, my being, my character. And so I'm really going for this ex yeah, this this very beautiful essential work that I'm doing and that I want to inspire you with. And I know that I I mean I've done a lot of things in the past years but now I start to feel a very different energy a, a, a shift in my focus and a shift also in the way that I uh, will speak to you so you will probably notice this also it doesn't mean that I am completely a new different person because I'm still Lee and I'm still I have still my flaws I have still my strange um, habits, whatever, preferences. But it is really essential for me and also I think could also be really helpful for you what I am creating now, what I am uh, building and realizing. And so I'm busy with uh, a concept, a program, where I will be able to help you uh, really practically with integrating your insights about your true nature, about who you really are. And then because you are, because you are this person, this very creative person that longs to create your true own life just like me you can be you can become very distracted when you recognize your true freedom you can really feel very lost it become it can be very liberating it can be wonderful it can be like an energetic uh, explosion of love and, and 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 connection and the beauty of life and the beauty of everything which is an amazing experience but it can also be a really big challenge that in time this very energetic shift that you might experience or that is happening for you or that maybe you're not experiencing it yet but it can also really challenge you to integrate this back into your normal life, into your daily habits, into your relationships, your work, your own business. So it's it's in this area where I really uh, want to help you with because it is exactly what I have experienced. I have experienced quite difficulties after this integration, the integration of um, yeah, when you start to live from um, surrender, so you, you live from surrender instead of willpower, lots of things change. Everything changes because when you're used to live from willpower, it's a, it's a, it's a completely different way of experiencing life. It's the you have the idea that you're in control, and if you are living from trust and surrender, then everything is possible. And so um, maybe you are already a person that lives from this surrender, and that you have a very open mind and an open um, approach to life. But then still, it can be quite a challenge to practice your uh, deeper insights and the insights about your true nature in your practical life. And so how do you shape your freedom now? How are you going to do this? 
and what do you need to to create this life for yourself when you uh, already know what it is that you long for maybe you don't don't know yet what it is that you deeply long for and is this still in development and then you can also really uh, reflect on this you can learn to really connect to these deeper layers inside of yourself because you have a huge force of creation within you you are the source of creation itself so there i am focused on i am um, creating a program in 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 line of this essence of creating your life purpose longings and um so that's why you haven't heard from me and that's why um, I thought I'll show up and I'll share something with you because I think it's important to know what's going on and uh, in my process of this creative process um, I try to really stay very close to myself because I know that when I stay very close to myself then I start to realize what really is my strength and you can also do this you can um, you can reflect you can take a moment or you every day you now have so much time everybody does have this time to really reflect on what it is that you experience to feel the power of your strength and what rises from this power of strength? What is your natural source, creation source? Uh, the, the things that you are good at naturally. Uh, many people, many people have a blind spot there and we can't see very well, very clearly what that is. But maybe you do, maybe you do recognize this, but you miss this ultimate practical technique or method to to create this well i am working on this so that i can help you with this and uh, because i have gone through lots of processes of self-discovery and also finding my my deepest desire to be able to help others and i think i can really um, help you there because I'm writing this down and I'm going to share this with you so that you can learn step by step better to integrate this in your daily life so meanwhile because you're going to need to have some patience with me and also with yourself just stay close to yourself uh, be gentle with yourself Reflect on what you feel, what is going on, your feelings, your sensations, your emotions, your thoughts. But see them as your creativity. This is all creativity that's going through your body, through your mind, through your personality. And it's a, it's a beautiful energy that allows you to create your life as you long it to be so bear with me uh, stay in touch maybe you can also if you want uh, send me things questions or things that you say well this is really something that i would be helped with then put it or below the video or write me it directly an email or um, yeah i will put my email there and also, when you go to my website now, it's under construction because I'm changing lots of things. Uh, but you can uh, you can add your email address there and, and then I will let you know when I'm ready to share this with you and the world. Bye!